Elon Musk is building giant robot chopsticks. This is Nerdist Now. Chopsticks, simple handheld tools that are great for eating a nice piece of sushi, pretending you're a walrus, or catching a fly if you're being trained by Pat Morita. But how about catching spaceships? Well, if you're Elon Musk and SpaceX, you're crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. According to Musk, SpaceX, fresh off of delivering avocados and ants to the International Space Station, will attempt something very new and very different to recover its massive super heavy boosters after they launch. In a tweet last week, Musk said, SpaceX will try to catch largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks. Success is not guaranteed, but excitement is. Musk is referring to the enormous robotic tower that SpaceX is building to catch the primary rocket stage after it gives the SpaceX Starship spacecraft a boost into orbit. And if you forgot that SpaceX was building a giant robotic tower like some kind of long techno drone, well, don't worry because we did too. Last year, Musk revealed how Mechazilla, his nickname for the 475 foot tall structure in Boca Chica, Texas, will enable a soft landing for boosters that are returning to Earth. The chopsticks that Musk was referring to are, in reality, three robotic arms that were recently attached to the launch tower. The quick disconnect wing arms are reportedly designed to accomplish several different tasks. The QD arm will hold a quick disconnect umbilical connector that will temporarily attach to the base of starships to load them with fuel, oxidizers, and other consumables. Starship serial number 20, or SN20 for short, still doesn't have a confirmed launch date, but the plan is to use the super heavy labeled Booster 4 as part of a two-stage Starship system. The SN20 doesn't have the amount of thrust required to break orbit, so it's assisted by a Super Heavy to get it up there before it detaches. So the hope is that the Mecha arms can quickly turn around the process of prepping boosters and Starships for launch while being less dependent on weather conditions. And it'll make retrieving boosters much easier as compared to trying to retrieve them from the ocean, which has happened pretty regularly for SpaceX rocket tests going back to 2014. And of course, catching returning boosters as well as seen in multiple animated demonstrations. It's almost like a trust fall, but for a rocket that's the length of two blue whales stacked end to end, which if you know whales, that's too many whales. SpaceX is still waiting on clearance and an environmental review from the FAA, which could extend the launch window for SN20 even more. So the plan right now is for the booster to softly land in the Gulf of Mexico, according to the SpaceX filings, about 20 miles offshore. SN20 would use its Raptor engines to continue into orbit and then splash down approximately 60 miles northwest of Kauai, Hawaii. SpaceX has completed several tests on the 160-foot upper stage of the Starship, with the most recent SN15 landing safely back on Earth after a short high-altitude flight. So the next launch will be the first test of the full Starship system, and the eventual plan is for Mechazilla to catch the boosters as they fall away, and even retrieve the Starship itself in the far-flung future. Except on the Moon and Mars, which Musk tweeted about last month, stating that there isn't any infrastructure yet. So, sorry if you out a moon condo that you bought, you got ripped off. So we probably won't see giant robot arms catching booster rockets like some kind of enormous mechanical Heinz Ward for quite some time. But Musk is hopeful about the potential that these new additions could offer. Or the returning booster could simply just crash into the tower upon re-entry, which, hey, it's a bit of a coin flip but that's the risk you take when you go to space. Anyway, folks, tell us, what do you think? Do you think these giant robot arms would work successfully? Did you know that SpaceX recently delivered avocados and ants to the ISS? And do you think Heinz Ward really could have outran the explosion of the Dark Knight Rises? Because I do. Anyway, let us know in the comments below, and for the latest and greatest in giant hug and robot arms, stay tuned to Nerdist.com.